Okay, I'm back in the shop today and on this first table is the center box case halves. Um, there's four pieces total. When it's all done, there's going to be a nice gap in between here for the center board to slide pivot in and out. There's the pivot slots. Um, so that's basically centerboard case and, and part of the keel. And the other day, um, I ordered plans for the lug yaw version. And the hardwood kit was cut for the lug yaw version, but the plywood kit was not. So I had to add a few cutouts. Um, and the other version, the mast box sits right here in the cockpit. Lug yaw version, the mast box goes in this cutout here. I had to add some slots at the bottom for the mast box and also had to add this access hole to the front buoyancy compartment up here. I added a access hole there, although there's that big old door there. Um, plans show an extra hole there. And I'm also going to be gluing part of the forward deck. Um, there, there's the, uh, whoop, let me get my flashlight here. For some reason, my video camera does not have a light. Well, that doesn't help out at all. Okay. So, that's the uh, centerboard case I'm working on right now. And I'll also be gluing up part of the uh, fore deck right there. There's a doubler on the aft portion. So that's what this piece is. This is the doubler. This is the aft portion of the fore deck. And this was for the original mast position, which I'm not using, but I, I don't want to cut off this nice doubler, which actually and and please forgive my lack of nautical terms those doohickeys right there whatever you, you tie lash ropes lash your sheets around those pins they all go through this this spot right here so i want to maintain this doubler in place and this will obviously this is upside down right now so this will be underneath the uh the bow decking and I'm going to glue this on right now um, glue these little plugs in place because it was cut for the other version and I'm not building the other version I'm building the lug y'all which is this version so that's what I've done up to now um, I am going to wait on the parts to come in for my mast box that goes in that forward bulkhead before I tighten everything down and start gluing. I um, in some of the pictures um, I showed these little washers kind of helps draw the bottom sides here together flush with each other so when I do apply the glue everything will be a nice smooth transition between each strike. Okay, so that's where I'm at. And uh, I'm gonna get some gluing done today. Of course, I do something every day on this. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. So if I just work on this a little every day, um, it'll look uh, more and more like a boat every day. 
All right, thanks for watching. Okay, I went ahead and mixed up, um, let's see here, two ounces of resin, another ounce of hardener, and I need to add, it's such a funky, milky color because I'm adding my glass beads. So I'm just gonna put in a little bit more to get about an ounce of glass beads in there. Try to do this carefully so it doesn't all dump out. So it should be about four ounces all together. Mix that up real good. I got my uh, forward bow masked off. I need a better uh, camera on a stand or something to do this. But everything was pretty much already mixed up. I just added just a little bit more uh, glass beads. I'm going to get this part here inside wet for my plug on both pieces and on this little plug part I'll get that all wetted out I need to just dump this out on here apply on both sides let it soak in for just about a minute and then glue it together clamp it up okay so I got um, both sides wet out already kind of positioned this plug right here sorry my light is I'm right in the shadow of my light um, I just got these brand new super garage LED lights up there and uh, they're great it makes it look like daylight in here except for when I'm standing right <laughs> in the view of the camera so I will take this piece here flip it over in place get it lined up take my other top plug need to add a little resin up here and my marks are on that side just put my plug in place A little bit of a gap there but I'm not too worried about that because this is this plug is the underneath side the uh, top plug was the important one and that fits real nice and snug once it's cleaned up and painted uh, you'll never know hopefully never know it was there so let me get this clamped up if I can get this to pause Okay, so I'm all glued up, clamped up. Um, everything is in place. Got me some nice bleed out, squeeze out. And uh, tomorrow morning, I'll go ahead and remove all these clamps and clean it up. The reason why I don't uh, videotape usually while I'm working is just because of the fact that I don't have a decent enough camera and a stand and um, I like to keep my videos short so that's where I'm at but I did want to show a little bit of you know the gluing process and clamping and just some of that instead of me just talking and pointing at parts that I've already built thanks for watching